I'm cool. so excited. Got your new album. Yep. Trouble Man. Uh-huh. Heavy is the head. December 18th. December 18th. That's the official date. Yep. All right. So I think it's interesting because I was really confused with the title because I felt like it was a long <laughs> phrase okay. and I feel like no one's touching on this because okay. it's a long phrase. I, I recorded like 127 songs for this project. It led me to the idea, and you know what, man? It's gonna have to be two. It's gonna have to be two projects, and which you know gave me the idea to have a subtitle to separate mm -hmm. the two rather than part one, part two. Yeah. The first one is Trouble Man, Heavy is the Head, and the second one will be Trouble Man, He Who Wears the Crown. Mm. Who's gonna be on it? Uh, well, you know, we got everybody from Lil Wayne uh, to Andre 3000, mm -hmm. CeeLo Green, Pink. ASAP Rocky, R. Kelly, Akon, yeah. uh, Meek Mills. Yeah. So is it just a simple phone call from you? Like, hey, I need you. Pretty much. Pretty much. For everybody who was on here, that's pretty much how it worked. Yeah. Uh, I don't know anyone who who is uh, featured on here whom I did not call myself personally and request, you know, them to Hop accompany on. me. Yeah. What was your favorite song? What's your favorite song on the album? <laughs> I want to know, what's your favorite song? It's like asking me to pick a favorite body part. I'm kind of using them all, you know? <laughs> Are you, okay, I was going to say, we can answer for you, but do you gotta have, what's the one, I guess, the one that you just really poured your heart and soul, and it's that one you're like, this has to be on the album. I mean, I, I have one that I had to fight the hardest yes. for, but it was, it was, it was because uh, people did not see the value in the record because they did they, they thought it was too traditional sounding. The, the sound of the record suits the, the message. Yeah. And that's the record with R. Kelly. Mm. Uh, and it's called Can You Learn? Mm -hmm. And it's basically speaking to women, asking, asking a lady if she can learn to love a trouble man. Mm. And if she's willing to put up with the, the, you know, the tough times. Yeah. In order to celebrate the nice times. Yeah. Yeah, you know, girls, we always want a thug in our life. Right? <laughs> Let me just tell you right now, yeah. we'll deal with it because that's just what girls do. I mean, it reminds me of like, you know, when we heard Tupac and Nate Dogg. Oh, God. You just made my it's, heart smile. I love Pac. I'm very right obsessed on. with Pac. And you on the West, so you already know. Right on. I'm really excited about that. Thank you. I, that made my heart smile. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. I know you have Andre 3000 on your new album. And I know it's like basically impossible to get him to do any songs. Like, how did that happen? Was that like one simple phone call? It was a simple phone. It was a simple series of phone calls <laughs> yeah. over uh, uh, over the years. Yeah. Uh, we've been trying to put this particular collaboration together since the Kang album. Wow. And every album since Kang, I've called Andre and I've you know say hey, I'm working on an album. You know, let's let's get together. He said, okay, man, just. Let's see, let's see, you know what I'm saying, what we got that, that, that makes sense. And so we've met several, a, a, a handful of times. Mm -hmm. and, uh, this is the first time it actually manifested Meshed, yeah. and came together. And I'm, I'm extremely honored, proud, privileged. I saw the trailer for Trap Back Jumping. Uh -huh. Um, I'm upset that you didn't ask me to act in it, but well, we'll talk about finished. this. Next. It's not finished. Okay, good. That means I'll be it's, in it's it. You just finished. let me know. And see, this is the thing. <laughs> see, the video "Trap Back Jumping" is a is a it's it's a an installment, the first installment to a larger project, uh, and I think "Trap Back Jumping" is going to be the title, but it's going to be it's going to be a movie. Yeah. Uh, and it's going to be uh, in the in the spirit of. Uh, Streets is watching when mm. we take a collection of songs from the from the album, shoot videos for them with a narrative to tie it all together. You know what I'm saying? And what if you had to pick a rap island okay. and an acting island, and you're gonna be stranded on one of these islands for the rest of your life? Alone? Well, you're with your family, the whole squad. Okay. But okay. it's just one of those islands. Are you gonna okay. stick to music uh -huh. or acting? And the, the, the other people that are stranded on this island with me. Yes. Okay. Are they able to do anything for themselves? Can they? Look, you try to make everybody work around Can they you. Contribute? I'm just saying. Yeah. Because if everyone is contributing, then I will be able to lay back and do what I am most passionate about. Leisurely. Got if it. I am the only one working, then I must do what is the most lucrative. Yes. And that's the best thing for the entire island. Yes. Basically, you're going to be the one who's just holding it down for the whole island. 
I'm gonna have to go with the music because you know what I'm saying that's where the lion's share of the, the, the profits are coming from. Yeah. Uh, however, I have an enormous amount of respect for the film industry and just the the art of thespianism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After being in it and, and observing some of the best to ever do it. Yeah. I just feel like you gotta respect it and salute it. So mm -hmm. I love it. You know, I just I, I just gotta find the appropriate amount of time to dedicate to it. Well, look, listen, we're not expensive to hire as backup oh, actors. Okay. Um, so this will be really low on the payroll. In fact, really? we're free. So uh, um, even better. Free. You said the magic word. You're hired. Hey, yeah. You're hired. <laughs> All right, so I, I know you were just talking about, you know, basically you're, you're so successful. You're doing your thing. Thank you. You know, and you are the king of the South. And Thank one you. day you're going to have to help an upcoming prince. Sure. You know what I mean? Looking Is there anyone in the it. running right now? I'm looking forward to it. I'm, 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 you know, I got my eyes on some people. The, the, the moves they make next will determine, you know what I'm saying, their, their eligibility. Ah, can you give us any hints? I'm so curious to know uh, who you have your eye on. Oh, uh, I can't. That, okay, okay. Because that may give them a little extra credit. That yeah, give, that you might. Know what I'm that may give them a but, little boost. You have to literally, your presence ha have to, it has to uplift. Yeah. Those who need to be uplifted the most. And you have to speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Mm. And you just have to be important on so many levels to the culture and to the generation. Beyond music. And you got to have jamming and music. Yeah. And to accompany that. What's the hardest part when you guys film Family Hustle? Staying in the house and not leaving, getting on <laughs> about my day. Yeah. <laughs> most of the uh, episodes are shot, at least my parts, Yeah. are shot between like right when I walk out of my bedroom first, first time of the day. Ooh, is that annoying just to have the camera right then and there? Not really, man, because it's a madhouse anyway, <laughs> yes. you know. Your wife, Tiny, has her own now talk show. Yeah. Are you going to be part of it at all? Maybe just a guest on it or anything? I, I, I'm, behind, I'm behind the cameras most of the time. Wow. <laughs> That's so dope, man. You guys are showing a good example of what, you know, being successful is. It's not just about music. Thank you. I think that was my main focus and intention when I decided or suggested that we do the show. Yeah. Um, because I felt like, you know, we were being judged from such a place mm. of speculation and just assumption. You know what I'm saying? People take one moment of your life and try to make that the foundational structure mm. of your character. Absolutely. When, you know, they act like I'm just riding around in Maybachs, drinking lean, making U-turns like every yeah. day, all the time. That was just one night yeah. that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just think that for, for me to show people who I am every day when you know, when, when the world ain't moving a million mm. miles an hour, a million miles an hour, that's more important than you know, who I was on the day that I might have, you know, done the most exceptionally stupid, th stupidest thing that I, I can think of. And you're human. Absolutely. At the end of the day, human. You know what I mean? Superhuman. <laughs> but human. human. You know? Yeah, <laughs>